Hello and welcome. My name is Fish, and this will be the beginning of my Panzer Corps series. Panzer Corps is a game that came out a few years ago that appears to be a copy of Panzer General. Uh, Panzer General was put out maybe 10 or 15 years ago, and there was uh, several different versions of it, including like Allied General or something like that. But it's my favorite strategy war game uh, of all times and uh, Panzer Corps is put out by Slytherin Studios. There's supposed to be a Panzer Corps 2 out this year. I'm not sure when though and this is put out by Slytherin Studios and it really is a vast improvement on Panzer General um, but has a lot of the same mechanics. It's It's almost the same game um, I love playing Panzer General, and I love playing Panzer Corps. So let's jump in. As always, we're going to start um, with Germany as early as we can. It looks like there's different DLCs here. Tutorial Campaign, Wehrmacht Campaign, and Africa Corps Campaign with a German K there. We're going to be doing Fall of Weiss starting in 1939 in Poland. As always, we're going to be going on the highest difficulty. And just to show you the amount of prestige that I get um, is 100%, but the AI prestige, prestige is 150 this appears to be how much experience my units will actually receive every time they're in battle and that's reduced to 50% um, and then it looks like the AI level is 2 which is the highest setting so let's get in here Greetings Herr General As you are now well aware High Command has ordered the initiation of hostilities against Poland Operation Fallweiss must proceed at full pace as we suspect that the British and the French will eventually come to aid of the Poles. To that effect, you have been given the task of securing the heart of the Polish nation. Take the capital, Warsaw, and the nearby cities of Lodz and Krakow. Achieving your goals quickly may allow you the opportunity to participate in additional operations. Failure, however, is not an option. Good luck, Herr General. I and all of Germany await word of your success. All right, so we got good weather here. And I'm just going to start off by creating a save real quick. There are auto saves as well. I'm going to try not to go back as much as possible, but if it starts a campaign off with uh, bad weather, my personal rule is that we wouldn't start off a campaign with, with bad weather, so I'm not going to do it e either. Um, I know that might detract from kind of the fog of war, but if, if the Allies waited t uh, to rush Normandy for a month uh, for D-Day for good weather, then I assume that I'll be doing the same thing. Uh, so here we are in Poland, and we've got our forces here. The first thing that I want to do is purchase a few units. The one thing about this game is that you always need air superiority. And to achieve that, you're going to need fighters. Let's see what else we have available here. The recon, I've been playing without recon. I am kind of metagaming. I do know what's going to happen. I do know where the opposing forces are on all these scenarios. Oh, I, I kind of want a JU. I probably need more artillery, though. There's only one artillery here. That's no good. And you can see right here I can I can get three more 
I have three core slots, so I can buy three things pretty much. Let's, um, yeah, let's get that artillery. I think that the uh, motorized artillery or the half-track artillery is absolutely trash. I never get them. And I'll tell you why. There's only four rounds in that mobile artillery. So you're going to have to stop and reload it, basically. Um, the other issue is there's only 35... Um, uh, there's only 35 fuel. So you're going to have to stop to refuel as well. Um, we all out blitz. Oh, the other thing is the range. The range on uh, this artillery piece is three. Oh, I guess this range is three as well. So that's pretty good. Um, but, you know, like the air defense is 10. The air defense is only five on the mobile artillery. And as there's more of these pieces that come out, that's the theme that just keeps going and going. Um, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't really matter where I put this guy. We're going to be purchasing two more units as well. I think they're going to be ground units. I kind of want a good tank too. Trucks can move a long way, so I'll put him in the back. Uh, we're going to be incredibly limited, though, as to what I can get here. This is a check tank, actually, and it's pretty decent. How much more prestige do I have? 300, and I can buy two things. That's 243. If I go with a recon, it's 137. There's not good anti-tank out yet. I mean, I like my purchases so far. Why don't we get a Pioneer? I don't know how to pronounce it. Pioneer? It has Bunker Killer. Military Engineer and Minesweeper. It basically ignores energy, enemy entrenchments. Fairly powerful. So I'll tell you a trick. We only have 74 prestige right now, but if I'm able to capture a few cities this turn, that'll increase. You always want to start off by um, microing the air first. I'm not going to escort uh, this BF-110C. It looks like it's just a BF-109, but it's not. Because it has some pretty decent air attack and air defense. So, shouldn't be a problem. Rule of thumb is go with the better attack first. So that would be these guys. Yeah, I think I'll go there. Their entrenchment was two before that attack, and now it's down to one. And before the air attack, it was three. Should just be destroyed. Oh, you horrible bastards. Get out of there. Oh. So I'm not going to be able to capture that DP this turn. That was unfortunate. This guy have a truck? I don't think so. It doesn't give me the option to mount and unmount. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. That means that I have to keep an infantry back here one more turn. I don't get those um, prestige points right away. Okay. Since this guy's on foot, there's no real disadvantage to him just going up and shellacking those guys. And we'll do the same here. Pretty good route.
you have to be fairly careful about how you move your tanks up. You could run into anti-tank, etc., etc. So I have 124, so I wonder if I can get that rake on. 137, okay. Alright, I can get the recon next turn. And the only reason why I get recon is it's because that's the only thing that I can afford. Huh. Three, three, that's pretty bad. Four, four, that's pretty bad. Well, I guess there's a couple ways of dealing with this. This guy's not going to be able to make contact. Why don't we just go the safe route? Of course, I get a rugged defense. So that's kind of like the punishment for going up against an entrenched uh, defender is that there's a roll of the dice and you can get rugged defense, which as you can see there, you can get pretty hammered, punished if you do that. Sometimes I like to take that tank and just put it right up against the city here because that means that the Polish won't be able to insert a unit into that town. You're not allowed to place uh, units if there's an enemy adjacent to wherever you're allowed to place it. That is a lopsided battle. I'm not going to do that. And then this guy, I'm pretty sure he's safe. If I put him here, and he gets air support because the fighter's in that area, so I like that. This guy's not going to be able to roll up onto him because there's two hills. I think foot movement can only move one through a hill. One space. I'm not sure on that. Alright, not my best first turn in this game, but we'll go with it. Okay, so that was interesting. So the Polish uh, plane attacked my fighter, which meant that they were busy. So that's why the close air support could come in here and attack uh, my artillery. But they didn't do any damage, so I don't really care. Okay. There's no one in here, so we can just snap that up. I like to have this guy start moving in this direction. Oh, look at here. They put two anti-tank right there. That's so bad for me. It's because they had extra prestige because I wasn't able to take this. There's kind of an exploit that you can do here. Um, which involves just kind of wearing their, um, their air down. Like, I could take this guy out completely. But, I mean, he really can't do anything to me. I don't even know what this is. It doesn't... Maybe these are both fighters? It attacked my um, my fighter. It says attack bomber. It's attack bomber, and they had the attack bomber. The attack bomber attack my fighter. I don't. Know, it doesn't make any sense. So I could kill him completely now. But um, or I could have him go back to his air air base, and then you know attack bombers are incredibly expensive. I could have the enemy AI put all their prestige into um, basically redoing their air force. And as soon as they redo it, I'm just going to take them out again. 
So you got to be careful here. I believe that there's an enemy, enemy AA gun over here if they purchased it, but I'm not sure. Pretend like I don't know. I don't really know. There should be an artillery piece right here as well. Oh. I guess we got to do something. Unless they get punished with rugged defense. That wasn't too bad, though. They're, ev they're fighting even. That's not too bad. If I can't, I can't even get my infantry in there. This is a bad situation right here. These guys are just so bad off. I'm not even afraid of them. Oh, wow. 3-2, but if he's over here, it's... Do you see that? If I go over here, it says negative one, negative three. If I move, though, that's not the case. Interesting. There's that artillery piece. That looks like one of those French 75s. It is. I'll bet you that's what it is. The French sold them to the Poles. Um, they're really bad because they're more direct fire weapons. Um, they really didn't have a lot of arcs. They were actually pretty poor in trench warfare. Or at least that's what it says in the videos that I watch. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right, now we have a lot of options. He can move up against the anti-tank. Or just take it right on the head. There we go. There's the AA I was telling you about. Okay. I don't like fighting that way, but we got to keep the attack up. I don't really like fighting tanks into anti-tanks, but what are you going to do? Always check the ranges. This guy's a range of two. Okay, so I pretty much cannot do anything in this area. But I can weigh up this guy. See if I can buy that recon. Interesting to note, it's um, wheeled movement, so you want roads. If you have half-tracked movement or tracked movement, whatever they're calling it, then you can go off-roading. You just have to worry about the hills and the forests. Okay, we've got a log jam over here. What I'm thinking right now is how am I going to protect my soft targets from the air? So I think I'm just going to leave him right there, actually. And if I can move him into position, that would be nice. This guy is going to be able to re-strengthen 8 or re-strengthen 3. I'll get him back up to full strength. That really hurts. Like, that attack was not very good. I think a typical player in this game would probably do a reload on that attack because it was kind of unfair. All right, pass the turn. The air just simply, their Air Force retreats so that I can pull off my exploit flawlessly. I mean, it's going to have to cost them at least like three or four hundred, I don't, maybe one or two hundred prestige, we'll say. I'm not sure. But they're going to have to go to this airport. It's going to take them a couple turns. So literally, I mean, they're not accomplishing very much. Okay, move 
Bug. This, you know, it's on a bridgehead. They're on the river as well. Maybe I can get a little spotting. There should be a guy in here. Move him up to this bridgehead. Okay. Uh-huh. These trucks move really fast, but it's like if I moved them up to here, I know that there's a guy in here. I just know it. So a little trick that you can do is like I can take my airplane, scout it out, attack him once. He still has an entrenchment of like four? Damn. That's going to be real tough. So I could bait him into getting out of his entrenchments if I put the truck right here. But then I'm going to lose a lot of prestige. I could also do the same by putting them on the river. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know if that's a great op. I don't know how that's going to work out. This guy guy is not going to, he's going to basically only be usable in like mop-up operations. Ooh, we can get there, but this guy needs to be suppressed first. Okay, how are we going to do this? Can anyone get, yeah. Ooh, that's a good attack. That's a real good attack. In this particular game, if you can circle around and um, take out the artillery, that's always my first option. That's always my go-to. My secondary target is always um, going to be anti-aircraft. you got to clear the way for your, your uh, air force to get in there and get attacks in. It is incredibly expensive to maintain your air force. This guy can move here and attack me. No, he can't. So this guy is relatively safe. If he moves there, there's still two. This is, range is two. Yes. Oh, come on. I just knew that that attack wasn't going to go well. Entrenchment 5. Yuck. Could soften up this target this turn. Typically, if I'm doing real well, I'm into the city by this turn. There's definitely this um, sort of cascading effect in this game, where if you don't do well, like, right off the bat, um... There's a lot of trickle-down effect to where you don't do as well later in the game. I'll say a snowball effect, rather. Just move them up, open, as I like to call it. And then this guy can actually go on the train. And I think that I'll do that. Just to get him going someplace that I need him, probably just... He's going to have to get out next turn, or the turn after that, but it'll be well worth it. You constantly sit here and check your course lots. Make sure you didn't lose someone that you didn't, you didn't know. Like, you'll get an extra course lot if one of your divisions is completely wiped. So you're constantly checking that in this game. Okay. Oh, baited. It was even an even fight. Oh, boys, that was that was awesome. You do not know how huge that is. It was going to be so hard to get them out of this damn town, and then they just walk out of it. <laughs> Idiots. God, I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass that I got overconfident there. We'll see. Okay. 
Okay, the world is my oyster here. Um, this guy's red. He's fully suppressed. So if this guy attacks, um, it shouldn't suffer an attack from this guy. I believe that's how it works. God, this is so bad. Hmm. I really want to get this this turn. So I guess the way of ensuring that is um, having the fighter attack there. And if he doesn't at least retreat or just die outright, perfect. These are the checks over here. It's the check flag or whatever government Hitler put into power. I don't really need this AA gun out of the way. I could just do attacks on this guy. I don't need to bring my air power into here necessarily. I wish that was better. I also should have taken this air base ahead of time. Just in case um, this guy retreated onto the airbase, then I'm not um, guaranteed this uh, VP. The infantry attack really well into cities. The tanks do not. Kind of mirrors real life in that respect, this game does. So that's good that they made the mechanics like that. So now our entrenchment's down to two. Just hoping and praying that this guy retreats from here. Of course, guys, perfect. So now I can bring the tank in and try to finish this guy off. I can start blitzing this way. Well, I really can't. Let's see what happens here. So, like, here's his prestige soak right here. So if he... So here's another exploit. He's on a river... If he reinforces this air, this uh, unit right here, he's going to spend 60 prestige or 50, whatever, maybe only like 40 prestige. But next turn, I come up with the tank and literally just wipe him. I, can, I mean, he's on a river, it's artillery, um, unsupported, no entrenchments, like he's going to get just wiped. Okay, I'm going to have him come in, and I'll go for the AA. I kind of don't like the AA hanging out. I kind of want to just take it out. They're not going to be able to reinforce that well either, because two of my units are there. It wasn't that good, but I mean, it was only one. Uh... This guy should really post up someplace. I'm going to have him post up there just to scout it out. What's his vision? This guy's vision. So you'll notice there's like a fog of war here. His vision's one. And then the visions of towns are one. So if I post him up right there and they have divisions coming into me, I could potentially ambush them. You see this fog of war here? This is all kind of blackened. That's what I can't see. But this is lighter. I can see like these areas right here. I'm going to post him up right there. And hope that he just attacks into me and I can ambush him. See now I don't want him right there. I want him to put that prestige soak in there. So if my guy is touching his hex right here, he won't be able to reinforce as much. And then, I know this truck is relatively safe. His vision is only one. And then, I don't know if I want to put this guy out there. If I do put him there, he'll be able to attack this city next turn. I'll do it. I'll do it. Gamble. I gambled on this, it worked out, so... Man, that was awful. Well, plan's not going too well.
Ooh, that's not too bad. It's not awful. Now I'm glad I bought this guy. Recon can uh, do multiple moves. It can stop and move again at the cost of, I believe, one movement space. Could be wrong about that. So now we can see up to here. So this is going to be a safe square right here. I know for a fact there's a ton of people on the other side of this river. I just know that from playing this game. And sure enough, there they are. There's an anti-tank right there that it would just completely wipe my guy here. Oh man, this is bad. This is so bad. My tank in this situation is not good against the AA and their anti-tank. I kind of don't have a good option here. And I want to get this guy out of uh, the train. What is this? He can embark dis- he can go on the train, huh? Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, this guy, this unit is pretty much useless in this location. So I could just say like, hey, we're going to go across the map here. Okay. I like it. He could like be right there next turn. Let's do it. I'm going to keep him going through this area. This is a squeeze point. This guy is probably going to get beat up. Do not like that at all. I kind of have mixed feelings about this playthrough. He caught me out. He was probably using the rose for movement or something like that. Oh man, and it was my artillery piece. Okay. Artillery is fairly cheap. Okay, so they only put in two into here. Which means he's out of prestige. So, which means he probably didn't buy any more units. If you notice that this guy attacked into my guy and he just died. Oh, that's kind of sad. Did they reinforce their air force? I thought I saw where their fighter went. I forgot to... Oh, it's right here. Oh, they're CAS. Okay. They're close air support. Alright, whatever. So this guy, I know that there's an anti-tank here. I saw that. Let's swap that out. So the question is, I'd rather go for the VP at this point. Take that. And then if I just put him right there, he's going to be on that bridge, exposed. It's not going to be good, but I see here that I can reinforce him, and I'm like, heck yeah, because next turn I can I can move him up. There's that anti-tank gun right there. Huh. Move him up, scout it out, and then maybe take this air base next turn if he like goes through the hills or something. I don't know. Their support should do well against the tank. God, they did. Mm, this is really going to mess me up here. He can make it to him, but he's not going to be able to fire effectively on him. There's probably no one in here. Do I have anyone with a truck? Okay, if I clear this road. See, the thing is, he can just take the VP.
That's just something that you can't ignore. Always take the VP. Or at least that's kind of how I play this game. Always take the sure money. That was surprising. The fighter actually helped his guy out there. So this guy is out of fuel, so he's going to need to go to an air base. Let me see if I can't just one-shot this guy. That's what I was hoping to do. And it happened. Perfect. That's not bad. That's the same as that. Okay. Let's see what he can do. That was a good attack. Oh, but it... Mm, this guy can't move up and attack him. Okay. Oh, man. Maybe he could perform a last hit, or this guy could. And he's suppressed. Oh, boy. I hope I can get a truck in here and take these uh, prestige points. No. He's not going to be able to reinforce there, though. Yucko. Get a little aggressive right here. Two one. That could be. We'll take him out of an entrenchment. Okay. You always want to keep the attack up. You always want to break down their entrenchments uh, when possible. If there's not like a major disadvantage. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this video here. We're coming in on Warsaw. And once we take Warsaw, that should end the war with Poland. And I believe the next map will be Operation Wesserbung. And uh, I will see you on the next one. The next one will probably finish off Poland and then start Wesserbung. But we'll see how far we get. All right, have a good one, guys.